name is Christina McIntosh. I came to Metropolitan Ministries in 2021 in July, like mid-pandemic. Metropolitan Ministries actually had helped us previously, but when we were faced with homelessness again, um, I had the thought to call and just kind of left a message for someone to call me back with information. We were just kind of surviving, you know, kind of making it day to day, paycheck to paycheck, never really being able to live, but just always kind of on the in survival mode. I never imagined I'd need help from a homeless shelter once, let alone twice, but here I am. That doesn't make me any less of a person. Um, it doesn't mean my kids deserve to struggle or suffer because life didn't work out the way that their parents planned. I don't want to be in a homeless shelter with a newborn by myself. How am I supposed to figure that out? Starting over new and on my own for the first time with three kids, that was something I had to mourn. That was something that was difficult to do. And being able just to confide in certain people about some of the things I had gone through and not feeling judged or feeling like that I made a wrong choice in coming here. I might have lost my kids if I would have not decided to save us from what was going on. So Metro was kind of just one of those things where I'm like, okay, Lord, I don't know if this is gonna be it, but if this is it, please open the door and make it as plain as day. And things just kind of started falling into place from there. Coming here provided me with all the tools and all the things that I needed to kind of dig myself and my daughters out of the rough place that we were at in our lives at the time. That's a tough thing for a kid. When are we going home? I never imagined that question would like prick my heart the way it did when they would ask me that, but that's a tough thing for a kid to deal with. I was able to get counseling for myself, get counseling for my children. I was able to go back to school and get myself in a career. Like I've been at the same job since I left Metropolitan Ministries and it has been the most rewarding thing for me and taught me how to be a better person, how to be a better woman, how to be a better mother, how to be more confident, how to be more patient, and how to really just be mindful of putting your best self forward in all the spaces that you are, you know, able to grace because you never know who you could inspire with your story. The CREATE program was also really helpful for them because it gave them a chance to see that what they were going through, they weren't alone, that there were other kids with maybe not the same story, but just as many challenges um, or different challenges that are here as well and that they could relate to. Promised Land was great for my youngest. She blossomed with one of the teachers. She felt safe and she was happy and she learned to walk over there at Promised Land. My children don't ever want to leave when I come to pick them up from CREATE. They haven't tired of it. It's, oh, I can't wait to go to CREATE, and oh, why'd you pick us up so early when I'm looking at the clock and it's 528, and I'm like, oh, thank God I made it on time today. Do the kids feel safe, and do they have fun? And the answer is always a resounding yes. They just, they love it. So that's a win for me, knowing that my kids are in a good, safe, happy place and, you know, they don't have to worry about much else than being a kid while they're here. How about you tell us about your mom? What do you love about your mom? About me? Yes, you. Oh. Well, what do you like about me? Sweet, fun, funny. Come here. What are you doing way over there? I love you. Thank you. Metropolitan Ministries dives into the community, gives back to the community, helps the community, is the community. And giving back to your community is one of the best ways to help your community to grow. Anybody could end up here, you know? How many people need just one person to take a chance on them? I've had so many take chances on me, from Metro to Baker, you know? They took a chance on me and here I am today just in awe of all of it. Sometimes, that's all you need is for just somebody to give you a chance. Metropolitan Ministries and its donors have helped me build a better future for me and my daughters.